right, continue this story. Sky Pirates, read the mysterious letter. <laughs> Thank you, Piglet. I'm McLeod Twitch Esquire. You may not know me, but I know you. I'm calling upon you because you're capable in the face of danger. If you consider yourself a force for good in this world, I implore you to attend the Dragon Bash Effigy Ceremony in Lion's Arch. I've heard whispers about a threat to the ship's council, and if left unchecked to the city itself, I'd intervene myself, but circumstances prevent it. I'd wish you luck, but luck is what, uh, what fools and idiots require to stay alive. You, I believe, are neither. I will surely contact you again. Signed. E. That was a meme from uh, last year. All right. Uh, enter Lion's Arch from Gender and Fields to attend the effigy lighting ceremony. Are we going to see old Lion's Arch? For those that don't know, Lion's Arch has been built at least three times, maybe more. It's, it's been destroyed at least twice that I know of in the story. Um, once from the Char and once from um, Living World Season 1. So if we're about to see Lion's Arch from Living World Season 1, it is going to uh, be made out of boats. Enter instance. I'm on a boat. Let's see. Let's see if it's going to be Bodhi. See if it's going to be Bodhi. You're still in voice chat. Appreciate it. Thank you. Oh, it's old Lion's Arch. It is old L.A. Look at all these boats. Everything's made out of boats. Into a dragon. We're seeing the old lions. But first, let me introduce the other ship's council members who are joining us today. Please give a hearty hi ho to the finest captain on the council, Captain Anne Reed. I'll be right back. When I say fine, I do mean fine. Next on the docket is the captain of the Sprocket, Captain Talk, one of the most impressive Asura ever to sail the seas. If you like my sprocket, Magnus, you should see my new rocket. <laughs> Whatever. And last but not least, it's Captain Theo Ashford okay. on the Oscalonian Ashfords. A more effective family of cutthroats never lived. Ah, you're too kind, Magnus. I'll have to work extra hard to live up to your praise. <laughs> You'd better, you salty old dog. The ship's council will also like to welcome the cultural representatives joining us today. They're all secretly wondering if we brought them up here to sacrifice them. <laughs> no, of course we didn't. Let's give our brave visitors a hand. They've brought memorials for their kin who were killed by dragons. All hands on deck. Toss your memorials on the pile. Is this an ogre? Let's light the horizon with this dastardly dragon. Begin the burning! That's right. Toss your memorials right on the effigy. Everybody, let's remember all those we've had taken from us. Nicely done, friends. Nicely done. All right, light them up. Light them up! Is that supposed to happen? Light them! Um... Great spirits! <laughs> this was the first Dragon Bash? I'm surprised the they decided to continue doing it. Get to the counselors and protect them. You get up to the stage and form a perimeter around the council. I can heal them! Let me through. We have injured and we need to get the counselors to safety. Who needs assistance? See if you can help the char cultural rep. He's injured and not moving. I'll do what I can. Stay alert, everyone. He's super dead. Just been the prelude. Some are seriously injured. Where's that Dolyak? You, 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 and uh, how mists. All of you, go with that Dolyak. Make sure the injured counselors get to the fort. Oh, 
Defend the cart carrying the injured. Okay. I will defend it with explosives. Because safety is my number one concern. Veteran Mysterious Attacker. Oh my god, taking so much damage. Fifteen stacks of bleeding. One thing I know about uh, this Lion's Arch, this was after it had already been destroyed at least one time, and all these, like, ships were, like, you know, ransacked against the shores, and then they just rebuilt the city with the boats and just kept the boat theme, so all the new buildings were made out of boats, too. And then a lot of uh, the captains of the ships uh, formed up and made a captain council. So Lion's Arch had much more loose laws than a lot of the other cities because it was basically run by a council of pirate cabins. Goodness, there's a lot of enemies. Uh, attacker morale. Oh, I just gotta run around killing stuff, okay. How many do I need to kill? Uh, Chip is not nearby right now, friends. Can't be fulfilling that redeem at the moment. I think without knowing pirate history, many new players won't be confused how much pirate armor there is in this game. Because <laughs> of Lion's Arch and stuff. Defend the cart carrying the injured. Speak with happened. Inspector Ellen Keel. Opening an official investigation into what just happened here. Thanks for your help. I think it's fair to say you saved a few lives today. Go enjoy what's left of Dragon Bash. There's nothing more to do here. I'll check in on the injured. Ah, oh, recognition. I wonder if this was the first of like Inspector Ellen Keel being a character, or if and she was in the story finished. before this part. A new Ceremony and acrimony. Exit to Gendarren Fields. Kill Keel, prevent the future. Kill her? What? 
Rag Zero coming out, coming at me with spoilers. Is that what's happening right now? Read the letter from E. Is E Ellen? Um, uh, Twitch Esquire, the situation has worsened. One of the Lion's Arch Counselors, Theo Ashford, has succumbed to his wounds. The Lion Guard is keeping the news quiet while the festival continues, but they're overwhelmed trying to maintain security in the city. At this very moment, a killer walks free and this cannot be allowed. Go to Divinity's Reach, go to the Eastern Commons. There, in a back alley bar called Dead End, you'll find one of the best investigative minds in Tyria, Marjorie Delacroix. She will need your help to find those behind the counselor's death. Tell her E sent you, work with her, sift through the clues, and solve the crime. I will surely contact you again, signed E. Head to the Dead End Bar in Divinity's Reach. Ellen Kill was introduced in Salson Island episode, which is not included in this revamp. Okay. Let me refund some of this stuff. Uh, wizard, I could do Wizard Dennis right now. We'll do that. E is a myth, or maybe E was Ellen. Listen to the conversation. Could have been just another dreary night. Same old smoke. <laughs> it's noir. Or that siren song lulling drunks and lonely hearts deeper into their sorrows. It could have been. But then, he walked in. Logan Thackeray. The man with all the answers. Well, some of the answers. Some of the time. Marjorie Delacroix? If it suits you. It suits me just fine. I want to hire you. There's been a murder. Lion's Arch Counselor Theo Ashford is dead. And I want to know who's responsible. Sounds like a job for the Lion Guard. What's got you peaked? Between you and me, Ashford's an old friend of the family. I want to make sure they find his killer. I see. And you don't trust the Lion Guard? Let's just say I'm hedging my bets. The pay's good. You in? How can I say no to Captain Lou? No names. I was never here. Maybe not, but your money is. I'm in. God. Lady Casimir, <laughs> what are you doing in a place like this? <laughs> She's just brain dead. <laughs> She's just there and just completely brain dead. Excuse me, Jory. What did Logan Thackeray want? Justice, I guess. And he paid in advance. Where are you going this time? Lion's Arch. Come along if you like. I could use your special talents. Besides, Dragon Bash is in full swing. <gasps> Thank you. That's so kind. I believe I shall. <laughs> You're showing an unnatural and unhealthy interest in my business. Is there something I can do for you? E sent me to help. Is that so? I shouldn't be surprised. This isn't the first time he's provided what I needed before I even knew I needed it. My name's Mucklack Twitch Esquire. <laughs> Marjorie Delacroix. Looks like we're going to Lion's Arch, Mucklack Twitch Esquire. You got any outstanding warrants there? Not that I'm aware of. Not yet. Tell you what, introduce yourself to my friend over there, the blonde. I have to go back to my anti-pirate spray. Go pack my anti-pirate spray. I'll meet you in LA. Look for me at the scene of the crime, you bet. Uh, hello. You're here to assist with the investigation into the murder in Lion's Arch. That's right. Name's Mark Life Twitch Esquire, my lady. Pleased to meet you. By all means, call me Casimir. However, did you know to come here? E sent me. The mysterious Mr. E. I see. Well, your assistance will be more than welcome, I'm sure. See you there. Uh, okay. Do you want spoilers for achievements? No, I don't. I don't care. Don't care about those. Logan! Hey, Commander. What you, uh, overheard in the bar? Your secret's safe with me. Thanks. I know I shouldn't get involved. The Lion Guard are handling it. But I can't just stand around and do nothing. Counselor Ashford was a friend. He had a family. We'll fi we will figure out who did this. Hang in there, Logan. Uh, okay. 
Enter Lion's Arch from Gendron Fields to investigate the scene of the crime. Did you get that? KK Mott going to sleep. Good night, Ashglad. Let's see. Someone wants party potato. And someone else has this says hat color. The brightest pink you have. Uh, I, d I don't know. This one, I guess. Yeah, that's pretty offensive. Okay. Alright. Hard boiled. I'm gonna catch out. Half all. Approach Dragon Bash effigies. You look like you're in charge. You're smarter than you look. <laughs> so my mama always said. But I'm not here for witty banter, satisfying as that might be. I'm a private investigator from Divinity's Reach, and I want to offer you my services. What could you possibly offer that the Lion Guard doesn't already have covered? <laughs> That's a loaded question. Let me tell you about my Tassie box. I bought it off a snotty little Asura. It can detect all manner of energy fluctuations. May I demonstrate? Now you've got me curious. Of course, curiosity killed the cat. But go on. My Tassie sure. box. Just press those buttons and see what glows. What does that glow mean? It means the dead Cha recently came in contact with the arcane residue. And not while his life was passing before his eyes. No kidding. Not even if you ask nicely. <laughs> so cringe. My instincts haven't failed me yet. Bringing, me the tass bringing the tassie boxes was exactly the right thing to do. Will you help me? What do you need me to do? Take one of the tassie boxes and test people. I've already tested you, so you've been cleared. I'll take a Tassie box. Point and click. The box is designed to reveal auras, and I've programmed it to highlight residual energy. It's crudely programmed at the moment, but it can fine-tune the settings as we learn more. Um... Oh, got it. It's not a target thing. Primary suspects scanned. Oh, these folks. I'd point that as a suspect if I were you. Just teasing. Calibrating commander? Yeah, calibrating. Get that thing away from me unless you want it thrown into the harbor. I will go away now. This person's got glowy hands! You must be kidding. Don't fret. You'll come to no harm unless you had a hand in what happened. Hmm. Huh. She's glowy. All right, lady. You better start talking. Are you accusing me? Wait. Could she have gotten it from the dead char that glowed? She attempted to revive him. <laughs> the detective would know that too, if she paid better attention to her crime scene. Oh, disappointment. Well, you're one lucky little pirate, you are. Consider yourself- My guy's son. posture. Are we done here? I need to return home to Tagadal by nightfall. We will be soon. Have you come to ask questions, or have you come to gawk at a survivor? Disgusting. Show respect for the dead and wounded. What is this guy? I have all my papers, my identity cog, the Arcane Council proclamation, and the contribution manifest. Anything you wish to inquire about, ask please. I'm innocent. Who are you? Izuri, honors graduate of the College of Dynamics from Radisum, chosen by the Arcane Council to be the Asurin component of the Dragon Bash presentation and ritual. What did you see? Oh, that terrible sight. As the other representatives put their items into the effigy, I noticed a strange reaction taking place in it. Strange how? It was a certain arcane chromatic discharge, as if a cascading escalation were taking place, certainly not supposed to happen. That's enough for now. Questions, 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 too many questions. Proper hunters would have caught their prey by now. Who are you? Kira Timberhone, descendant of Gina Wood Splitter and Norn Cultural Representative for Dragon Bash. What did you see at the effigy event? There were too many people moving around, too many noises, too many distractions. Uh, thanks. 
useless. Are you in charge here? I've been telling the Lion Guard I had nothing to do with what happened. All this hassle. I never should have left Ebonhawk. Who are you? But I have news. Five of the cultural representatives failed to report in. We better track them down. Ms. Delacroix, I'll contact you and your associates when we have something to investigate. Thanks for everything. For the millionth time, I'm Farley Wallen. Appointed by both Commander Samuelson and Queen Jenna to be the human cultural ambassador for Dragon Bash. What did you see? Before the blast, I noticed the Char was acting fidgety. Chat, this guy's from Ebonhawk. The people at Ebonhawk are still fighting Char to this day. They're super racist. They kind of have reason to be, be but they, they, they're fighting for the- they, they don't like Char. They don't like Char. And the Char around Ebonhawk don't like humans either. So, this might be just nothing. The Char was acting fidgety. Then I noticed some other representatives also look nervous. Which ones? The Ogre, Quaggan, Savar, and Skrit. I thought it was a stage fight or something. Stage fright or something. I'm gonna scan Keel again. We know that the Char representative was probably involved, but I wonder if he had accomplices. It doesn't seem like a one assassin job. Agreed. We're still missing five of the culture representatives who were here at the time. They ran off before we could stop them. How can I help? I can ask around, Inspector. I'll contact our mutual friend here if I hear anything. I'll be waiting. Sounds good. Until then, get some rest. Good thing Inspector Kill remembered she'd sent me to help the Char. That could have had a very different ending. You had a near miss. I'm sorry I wasn't able to save him. I am. Now they won't let me leave. They think I did it. You mentioned you have medical experience. I do. I'm my Tren. <gasps> Not my first time trying to save someone from an injury like that. Not the first time I failed either. It never gets any easier. Hang in there, Miss Mai. Chat! I'm about to save us from many expansions worth of problems. Sorry, madam. All right, I have saved the day. <laughs> All right, leave the area to plan your next move. She looks innocent, blame the char. The char's dead. Monkey assassinated a perfectly innocent human being. Mm. Read the letter from Delacroix. Marjorie Delacroix, Delacroix Investigations. Mark Lurch, Twitch Esquire. The Lion Guard have leads on three of the five missing suspects. I'd love to, love to get lost in this mystery, but I'm needed in Lion's Arch. We only just met, but I need someone who can travel to interrogate the suspects, and you've proven critical in this investigation. Casimir is wrapped up with paperwork back at the bar. Do what you can to convince the suspects to return to Lion's Arch and take good notes if they say anything interesting. Here's the intel we've got on their locations. We discovered footprints from the ogre suspect, Vork, leaving the crime scene in Lion's Arch. Follow them. Reports indicate that Moralu, the Quaggan suspect, is in Blood Tide Coast in the Sorrowful Sound. Find him. The script suspect, Kasparak, was sighted in Gendarin Fields near Al Mutan Estates. I'll continue the investigation into the whereabouts of our last two suspects. Be wary, trust your instincts, and stay alive. Track down the Skrit Kasparak in Gendarin Fields. Okay. And let's see. Someone someone wants Wizard Dennis again. He's still popular. Okay, over here. Not sure if you are, but I sent a message on Discord and you get the chance. Uh... Okay. Uh... Okay. Yeah, that's uh, let me let me finish the bit of the story that we're doing now, Bardlock. That's very generous of you. Uh, generous of you, and then I'll come back to that. Uh, let's see. Let's see. Track down the Skrit Kasparak in Gendarin Fields. Where is Kasparak? This is a very large green circle he could be in. Is he in the house? Oh, 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 oh. Found him. I'm a detective. You got something? You aren't shiny. You smell like sea. Good smell, though. Shiny man gave me shiny for big party. They said the other script... Ga they gave other script a long vacation. That was nice. I need you to return to Lion's Arch for questioning. 
Lion's Arch, no! Big noise, screaming, very scary. Didn't know what to do. Felt guilty for running. We'll stay out here. Stay safe. Yes, yeah, stay safe here. Hey, you smell something. Are you sure? There's lots of shiny things in Lion's Arch. Really? Okay, back to Lion's Arch we go. Toodle do. Boom. Easy. All right, what's next? Track down the Quaggan Moralu in Blood Tide Coast. All right. This is Living World Season 2 story. Living World Season 1, Episode 2. It uh, came back out today. Oh my gosh, that's a lot of people. Wait. Wait, hold on. Where should I... Wait, what? Why? Okay. There's a pet over there. The marker was near the waypoint before I teleported to the waypoint, and now it's really far to the northwest. Triple trouble starting. I think it's just people doing the, uh, this. Have you already tried the new CM? Yeah, we banged our head against it for like an hour and a half earlier. Track down the Quaggan Moralu. Now the question is, is he under... There he is. I see him already. How bad is the CM? Uh, I mean, we could... There's, what, what, five phases? And we could barely see phase three. The, the damage requirements are very high. And the mechanics are not hard to avoid, but if you fail to avoid even one of them, it's basically death. Because you get knocked off a cliff and die. So, that that combination, and it's it's like a 15 minute fight, and if you make any mistake, you're pretty much dead. And uh, the the DPS requirements are quite high. Um, please don't hurt Quaggan or Quaggan's tadpoles. Quaggan just did what Quaggan was told. They threatened Quaggan's nursery. Quaggan had to carry the offspur offering to the effigy. Who is they, and what did they do to your offering? Quaggan didn't recognize them and it was dark. They did something to Quaggan's offering. It was fast, Quaggan didn't think. Foo, at least the tadpoles are safe, the little ones. Um, it takes courage to defend tadpoles like that. You can do this. Quaggan thinks you're exaggerating, but Quaggan understands and will come to Lion's Arch. <laughs> He's like, you're full of crap, but sure. I'll help. Uh, boop. There's a quest marker, a particular one that's just an area like you're dealing with now, in a map you're not in. The map indicator will put the green star dead center in the zone map. Really? Um. Wait. Hold on. What? Oh, he's like over here. Wait, do I have to leave Lion's Arch and zone back in, or do I do this in this Lion's Arch? Uh... Oh, wait, I see green star. I see a green star. How do I get to it? That person's trying to figure it out, too. Uh, crap. Amusingly, you were on the right path, though you saw the star and you jumped. Really? Evening, Mr. Mug, I have a surprise for you. What's up, Mia? What's Muck's gamer ID? Uh, exclamation name in the Twitch chat will bring up my in-game name. Haha, <laughs> I was right there. Okay, okay. <gasps> Is he dead? Upon closer inspection, this corpse matches the description of the missing Dragon Bash Ogre representative. Search the area for clues with the Tassie Box. 
The Tassi box detects anomalous arcane materials on the corpse. Log materials as evidence. You've got mail. Muckluck Twitch Esquire. Inspector Keel and her lion guard have tracked down the last two suspects. As with the previous three, I leave it to you to handle the questioning. Here are our leads. The Coden suspect, Trembling Song, has been spotted in Snowden Drifts at the Lost Child Sorrow Camp. Unsubstantiated rumors place the Silvari suspect, Astora, hiding out in Caledon Forest in the Rowan Woods. I've been examining the clues already recovered. The Tassie box uncovered trace elements with magical properties. I'm not sure yet, but my guess is that these components formed a compound that turned the effigy into a death trap. I think our last two suspects hold the final pieces to this puzzle. Oh, like they each threw a component in there and combined it made an explosion? Whatever you discover, return to the crime scene in the Lion's Arch afterwards so we can share our findings. Mad Lady Mia. New pet to go with your color decor. Mini gray tigress cub. <laughs> Not related to the story at all. My color decor. It looks good in black. Thank you, Mia. All right, here, hold on. This is gonna, this is gonna keep me, uh, this will keep me company for the investigation. Uh, let me see. Ta -da. Minis, tiger scub. God, it's like, I, this thing is almost a mount for an Asura. All right, track down the Silvari in Caledon Forest. Alright, and how far away is it from me? Way up there. Alright, we're just gonna pop over to that. Guess what I've been doing the last few hours? I'm guessing opening up Black Lion boxes since you had a Tigress. Uh, I'm gonna refund some of the stuff right now. Granted, Chip doesn't want, uh, doesn't have that much going on. Okay, let's see. Where is. Looking for a green star. Is she in the fort? I feel like that would be too obvious. I know your face from my dream. Oh, I've left the circle. In before Scarlet. Wait, is this is this one Scarlet? Did you just spoil me? No giveaway tonight. I was doing, uh, no, there, there's, there actually might be a surprise one, but originally the plan was because Sunday I was doing giveaways for like seven hours straight, uh, was to not do a giveaway tonight because of how much we spent on Sunday, but there might be one after all in a little bit. Astora. You're not here to kill me, that's obvious, and you're not a Lion Guard. You found me all the way out here, so you're good at what you do. Tell me who are you. I need you to come to Lion's Arch for questioning. I didn't kill anyone, and I'm not setting one manicured toe back into the city without a good reason. I was set up. What are you talking about? They posed quite the argument. Be on that stage or face the police. I used my wiles to get the representative spot, then they gave me a trinket. I didn't have a choice, I can't go back there. You know, the Lion Guard are pushovers. Hmm, a few tears a quiver in my voice. Oh, have mercy, I'm just a lost, lonely soul. All right, you've convinced me. I'll come back to Lion's Arch. <laughs> what? <laughs> I never met a Silvari that acted like that before. Okay. Uh, track down the code in Trembling Song in Snowden Drifts. Okay. Where's, uh... Has it played the first season of Who's Next One of Us? Yeah, I mean, I know roughly what happens, but like the little stuff, like that lady we ran into earlier, I didn't expect her to be my trend, for example. So that was kind of cool. All right, so looking for a Coden. Big old bear. He might or might not be wielding Coca-Cola. 
Oh, there's a bunch of people over there. Ah, there he is. Are you Coda's judgment come at last? I'm ready to surrender my blood and spirit to you. Holy crap. What's your side of the story? My shame is my shadow. I caused a death by breaking a vow. Now I must give up my own life to pay for it, either by my hand or Coda's will. Return to Lion's Arch and be judged by those who were injured. I suppose I owe them at least that. Very well, I will. Hard-boiled completed. Okay. All right. Cool. Okay. 